Mm, which is more efficient, 6S or 4S? Asks DLIMI drones. 6S or 4S, cost for flight time. That's that's very hard to say. There are so many variables. Um, Ryan Harrell, who is one of the smartest guys I know when it comes to motors, props, and ESCs, among other things, but certainly the, in that area, he is one of the premier uh, people in FPV. He's done a ton of bench testing of motors and ESCs. He understands motors and ESCs at a level that very few people in FPV do, not just from a theoretical perspective, but from a practical lab bench testing and flight testing perspective. Uh, so Ryan Harrell uh, argues that 6S is actually less efficient. Now, I wish I had a copy paste of the argument he makes so I could show it to you because I... I'm not going to try to do it justice. Um, people say that 6S is more efficient for various reasons. He says it's not. His arguments sound convincing. His credentials are impeccable, and I tend to believe him. So why do people tend to get longer, or at least seem to get longer flight times when they go to 6S? Um, I think, subjectively, when I switched from 4S to 6S, it felt like I noticed battery sag uh, later in the pack. With 4S, I would start to feel the battery sag. I would go, oh, I need to stop flying, and I would come in and land. And when I switched to 6S, I, at first, I just killed pack after pack because I didn't feel that sag. And if I wasn't watching the OSD to see the battery get down to 3.5, 3.4, 3.3, then I would just fly it and kill it. And I still uh, do that. I don't kill packs anymore, but when I fly 6S, I will regularly fly a 6S pack down to 3.5 and still be, have plenty of life in it. And it'll be like, oh, I need to land. Whereas I just don't remember that happening on 4S packs. One reason, one reason that might explain this is that when people go to 6S packs, they tend to go to a little bit larger pack. So people will fly a, a 1100 milliamp hour or 1200 milliamp hour 6S battery weighing 200, 205 grams. When they used to fly a 1300 milliamp hour 4S battery weighing 175 or 180 grams, you simply have more battery. So in a lot of cases, the differences people notice between 4S and 6S can be attributed to the fact that they're not really doing an apples to apples comparison. The other change that people tend to make is they tend to run higher KV motors on 6S than the equivalent 4S. Uh, to, so they're essentially getting more RPM and more thrust. Now, you would think that would make the quad have shorter flight time, but who knows? Um, the answer is that on paper, 4S will give you longer, will give you more efficiency, more grams per watt. Uh, but most people are going to fly 6S and feel they get better performance from it. 